In this problem, we're told eight books, each four centimeters thick with a mass of 1.8 kilograms, lie flat on the table. How much work is required to stack them uh, one on top of another? So in order to do this problem, first you need to know what work is. So work is equal to force times distance. And so this problem is going to be a little tricky just in the way it works, but there's a few things you need to understand first. So what is the force going to be acting on this problem here? So know that we're going to be stacking books on top of each other. So I drew one book here, but we're just going to be drawing, or we're going to be stacking each book one at a time on top of each other like that. Um, so the force acting on it, when we move it up, right, in order to do it, is going to be the force of gravity. So we know F is just going to be equal to mg in this case, right? So, um, right, so work equals mg times the distance. So what is the distance we're going to be moving? So that's the tricky part of this problem. So keep in mind, we already have one book down, so there's no work for that one. So you're only basically dealing with seven books here. But um, yeah, so when we stack this one book, uh, book here, so imagine it's on the ground like this. We basically just assume we're only moving in the vertical direction. In order to move it up, the distance it's going to go is four centimeters. And so it's going to move four centimeters, right? And then to move this one, it's going to be four plus four. And then move this one, it's going to be 4 plus 4 plus 4, right? So they're going to be stacking. So the way you want to do this is basically just treat the length you're going to be moving it as L, right? So you're going to move one up. It's going to be, so let's just start with the first book. So the first book is going to be equal to mg. And so instead of the, like the distance we're moving it for the first one to place it up here is L, okay? So mg, L, I'm going to do uppercase L. So then plus, right, because we're adding them all up to find the total work. So move the second one, right, so we have this one here now. We're going to move it up here. So if this is L, this is also L, this little distance right here. So since it's just the length of the side of the book. So to move this one up, the distance we're moving up is 2L. So mg plus 2L. And then let's do the third one. So um, like this. So in order to move the next one, it's going to be 3L. And I hope you can just see the pattern repeating. So it's just mg 3L, and then doing the next one, it's 4L, and it just repeats, right? And so we're going to go up. We're placing seven books, so it's going to go up to 7L. So mg 5L, mg uh, 6L, mg 7L, right? Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 books, right? The first one doesn't require it. So if we add all these up, Right, you can just add these like terms. It's going to be mg, and then one, two, add these up. It's 28l. So that's going to be how much it is, right? It's just the mass times gravity times 28 times the length, right? So, yeah, basically that that was the hard part of the problem, just understanding that idea of how you could just simplify it to l, and then you can just add them like this. But uh, yeah, so the mass of the book, or they are all the same, right? 1.8 times g, which is just acceleration due to gravity, which you should know is 9.8 times 28, and then multiply by the length. So the length in this problem is, right, we said is four centimeters, right, the length of the book. So 0 0.04 meters. So you're going to have 1.8 times 9.8 times 28 times 0 0.04. So you're going to get it equals 19.8. Seven, five, six, eight. So you can round whoever you want. Uh, I'm just going to say it equals about 20 joules. So just round whoever you want, though. So 20 joules. Yeah. So basically, this is going to be the total amount of work. We just added each book, right? How much it took for each book. So 20 joules is going to be your answer. And hopefully, you found this useful.